Okay, sorry about the delay in starting. We've got a, a class immediately before ours. And breathe. Fabulous. Okay, we'll turn. So, a bit cooler today. Apparently, there's going to be a partial eclipse at about 11, quarter past 11. So, you might want to look out. We won't see it because of the cloud cover. Like, that's, that happens loads of times. Oh, there's this amazing thing happening in the sky. You can't see it. There's clouds. That's happened loads of times. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't look at it because it's silly. So, um, but anyway, so we might catch that later. I don't know. Ooh. Well, there's quite a lot of us in here. This is good. So, sink the hips. So, yeah, I've got my bright green shoes today because they're even more hideous than my bright orange ones. And uh, So it's been quite warm, the last. There's that funny yellow thing in the sky that we didn't see at all in May. It seems to be making up for it now, but basically it means that your, your joints and things can get a little bit sticky. So we're we're going to be nice to our There's loads of room at the front. It's all right, I won't. Yeah, the, th those of you that have only just sort of arrived, um, I've got some Zoom people on as well. We have a few, we have a, some Zoom people that come. And, because um, while we're all shut in, we, uh, actually, I will take this off. We were, um, I was doing it on Zoom. Very good. And it's, quite, it's quite good in Zoom. You can travel all over the place. Like, for example, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Chicago at a folk club on Zoom. And next week, um, no, in July, I'm going to be in Colombia at an international music festival in Colombia on Zoom. So, uh, I'll be playing. So it's very exciting, isn't it? It's very good. Don't need no passport. Don't need no uh, quarantining. You just put your computer on. There you are. You're in a different country. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, we're just breathing and we're turning. So you want to be aware of your waist. That's this area here. Yeah. Yeah, me and Beth have already done lots of exercise. We'll do... <laughs> we uh, we join in with all the songs on the radio in the car. It's great. So there we go. So we're nice and tall through the head. Nice and tall through the head. That's it. So what you want to do is you want to gently ease yourself into the correct posture. So, and there's, there's two ways of doing this exercise. You can either keep your head still 
and that gives you a sneaky neck massage. Or you can move your head, line your nose up with your navel and just turn to the corners. I'll show you that from the back. So we're all breathing. So, um, yeah, for those of you that are sort of newish or newly arrived, this class is now an hour long. It's quite exciting, isn't it? And uh, once we've sort of more back to, to normal-ish, I'm hoping to start teaching the form in it. But at the moment, for the next few months, we'll be doing basics just to get everybody on the same, uh, in the same place. If we're, not in, if we're not in a third, fourth and fifth lockdown, Please you know. Please no. No, no. 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 I think we'll be all right. Well, we're all getting our jabs, aren't we? So. I've had, I've had You've had two, have you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've only had one, but it's all right. I'm waiting. Just wash your hands. It's not, you know, it's not rocket science. It's common sense, isn't it? It's common sense. There's not a lot of that going about, though, is there? No. So anyway, knees in line with the toes. And we're all breathing, aren't we? Well done. Oh, what a relief. Okay. And then raise the arms, just feel the chest gently open. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm teaching a, a workshop this evening, so I can't go to martial art class. So as a consequence, we're going to have to do some punching at some point today, so just to so I could get it out of my system. But very slow. We did punching yesterday in the beginners class and they loved it. They were, I was terrified, all these people, you know, it's frightening it was. And um, so we're gonna do a little bit of punching today because it's great for coordination. It's great for your back and your shoulders and it's great for making you feel a bit grr, you know. There's nothing wrong with that, it's all right. So we're just doing our bounce. And then I'll shake. So I'm spending the whole day with my teachers on Saturday. Um, so if I learn anything useful that I can then pass on next Thursday, of course I will. Oh, okay. So with this one, what you want is really relaxed arms and also to connect up through the whole of the body so that your everything is is working together so let's yeah let's do some breathing first so place your hand on your lower dantian place your other hand on the lower back and we're just gently breathing breathe out well that's a nice ring tone isn't it lovely but don't don't admit to it, because everyone will know it was you now. <laughs> Let's keep breathing. In. Right, swap hands. So we're just breathing into our hands. I learnt this one from Eva. I'm in Tai Chi class. I'm really relaxed. And then, uh, okay. Well, we might as well do do this. Great. Right. Yeah, my, my mum does Pilates, by the way. She doesn't do Tai Chi. It's not cool enough for her, so she doesn't. So she'd have loved the class before mine, you know. So. Right, so what you want to do is you want the arms just to drop. The arms drop and fold, drop and open, drop and fold, that's it. We go, How, how's the, yeah, okay, right, everybody's looking very relaxed, well done. 
just uh, this. Very good. You can do whole seminars in these loosening exercises and pay, pay an instructor. The, usually it's the two chaps from New Zealand that live in New Zealand. They fly over and you spend days just doing this stuff. Nothing else. Brilliant. Okay, turn the palms up. I'm really selling it, aren't I? Twizzle around the elbow. So you want to... And we're all breathing. Very good. So it, it's like... Um, actually, we'll do one arm. Do one arm. So, and you, you, if you place your hand on your upper quad, you can feel the shoulder joint open and close. And there's a slight turn. And we just... So last week, um, I, went, I went to one of Mike's classes this week and I um, was talking about the importance of being relaxed, being relaxed and calm when you're doing, when you're doing the movements. And you're always moving from this quiet, still place of clarity. Okay. Try the other side. So when you do it with one side, there's a little turn in your, in your waist. So it turns, pivots around the elbow and comes palm up. That's it. Very nice. Okay, and then when we put them together, you make a W shape, a W shape. So, uh, yeah, me and Angus Clark, Angus Clark who runs the Tai Chi in Devon, very, very good. Um, we were at Andrew Hackett's seminar, we were doing this exercise, we did it basically for the whole weekend. And it gets to those points kind of late in the afternoon when you've been doing basically this move since nine in the morning. And, um, me and Angus ended up opposite each other. And every time we did this, we went, whoa, <laughs> whoa. And then Andrew, unbeknownst to us, looked at us like this, and then we both went, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> really, That's how, how not to impress a visiting instructor yeah. all the way from the States, you know. He took it in good humor. There we go. So yeah, you're making a work shape, but a relaxed one. In Tai Chi principles. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna do this one. Just, ah. Uh. So you transfer the weight, and it's the outside turn. Ooh. It's been so hot recently, it's been difficult to think straight, so we're just gonna, it's Go Slow Thursday today, everybody. Go Slow Thursday. So we're just, you know. <laughs> Who wants to rush about? Uh, no. Nobody, no. Right, we're just going to have a look while I'm thinking of it. Just transfer the weight. So we're... 60, 40, and we're nice and tall. Remember, imagine you're in the audition and you want to, you know, <laughs> for, the, for the display team, the Grey Herons. Yeah, we've got an imaginary display team called the Grey Herons. Like, you know, the, the Dowis lot, they have a display team, and they have their flags and they do all the things. So we've got our own display team. That one's been running for decades now, hasn't it? The display team. Brilliant. So, it's like the red arrows, but slower. There we go. So we're nice and tall, tall through there. Now think about your posture. You wanna feel really tall, and as well as that, you wanna feel comfortable. So using your mind's eye, you wanna create space in all your joints and lots of room, you know, because you can get a bit, you know, especially if you spend too much time watching things like briefings or whatever, you can feel a bit, so you just go, oh. Relief. What a relief, no, I just, I just. 
So that is beautiful. Now we're going to do the inside turn. So you turn, so you go to the wall to the weighted leg. So just to kind of distinguish between the inside turn and the outside turn. So loosening is a really good way into the Tai Chi. That's much better. And you want to, you want to think about your posture. So it's easy to get good posture when you're doing something relatively straightforward. Oh, can all of you lot at the back hear me okay? Not very well, okay. I'll project a bit more. How about now? That better? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll project a bit more. No, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, well, I've been doing a lot of singing online, so I, might, I can project a bit better now, so it's all right. So relax around the jaw, and you've also got your sleepy tiger eyes. So they're relaxed but alert, like the eyes of a sleepy tiger. Great. Okay, now we'll do the outside turn. So you go into the leg, then you turn to the opposite corner. You go into the leg and turn to the opposite corner. And it's the outside turn that we do. So right leg, left corner, left leg, right corner. Right leg, left corner, left leg, right corner. Here we are. Yeah. Quite embarrassing, one of my music teachers pointed out, no, your right arm is the one that you use your bow in. And I went, oh! So I can now distinguish between my right and left. Oh, it took ages, didn't it? But I now know what to do. So that's the one I'm bowing with. Oh, right, that must be my right arm. Though it must be that way. Brilliant. So, um, It's okay, don't worry, don't tell everyone you haven't got it, come on. So, um, so it's this way and this way, this way and this way. That's it, just, just do something. You see, you see that what you want to do is if you're finding something a bit tricky in Tai Chi class, you want to relax more, put on a wise expression on your face, look really confident, I won't notice you're doing it differently at all. You know, you're doing the variation. Oh, she must be practicing the variation. Look, she looks really wise and profound. Okay, I'll just ignore her. There you go, see? Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's what I try with my teachers. Now we go back to this one. See, now it's all beautiful. Don't worry, if you're doing the variation, just own it, yeah? Own your variations. Create some space, relax. It will sort itself out eventually. You just don't want to... You're obviously in the process. So I've been to teacher training in lockdown. It's good as it's working really well, isn't it? <laughs> well done, you're doing really well everyone, everyone. You know, it's great. Love it. <laughs> yeah, just relax. Just relax. That's rule number one. Just relax. It'll all fall into place, or even if it doesn't, you relax, so who cares? Yeah, you think you just relax. You should watch the news less. That would help your shoulder stiffness. Dance, do more, listen to more cool music. There we go. That's much better. Okay, right, we'll, we'll leave that one to cook. Let's do this one. Ugh. Now, if they got any common sense on Monday, they'll go, let's leave it a few more weeks till we've had more jabs. That's what I'd say, do. That That's would just be so, a lot easier. It'd be a lot easier because you don't want to do another lockdown. I'd, I'd uh, rather avoid really. lockdown. And, I'd um, get more jabbed done, like the younger ones. Yeah, get all the youngsters jabbed yeah. up so they don't spread it everywhere. Like no, they, exactly. You know. And uh, we'll be fine. I mean, it's all right as it is. I can go and have a cup of tea in a cafe now. I'm I know, quite happy. It's kind of nice. I can hug my mates. Carefully. Yeah. You know, not if you look look, long, yeah, look that way, look, you know, it's yeah, all fine. And not for too long. And not for too long. No. What is the designated time for hugging? What is it? Anyone know? Anyway. Is there a guideline? So, um, yeah. So here we go. We're just relaxing. 
So you want to relax along your spine. Relax along your spine. And we're so when you walk out of this room, you want to feel taller and like you've got lots of space and you're not in a hurry. Okay. Exactly. Metaphorically taller. Okay, let me just qualify that. Okay, now, now try this one. Because the, the thing is, in the hot weather, and then you've got, it's a bit colder today, so it's not going to, it's going to make your joints a bit grumbly. So we're doing a, a grumble-free joints session today. So we can de-grumble our joints. And just, there we are. Yeah. If you recognise people in weight rows that come here with your masks on, do let them know that we're back. I've done my best, but... The more the merrier. Was there any badmintons this morning or? Oh dear. It's very quiet, it's eerily quiet over there. Normally we're getting the um We got this amazing like almost Radio 4 play last week. They were talking really profound stuff. Yeah, that's right. It was amazing. So we should get Jeremy and, and um the desk people to have a profound chat next to us so we feel like we're in Tai Chi class, you know. Okay, turn. That's great. So we're doing the wobbling. Tall through the body. Breathing in and out. Oh. Ash. Nice. Okay, just do little kicks with your feet. Just wake your feet up. That's it. So let's just focus on our, our joints and make sure everything's kind of working before we, we start doing our before we start doing our stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the top and then we'll, do, we'll do, the, um, do the legs as well. So we'll just make sure we... It's like a kind of MOT, I think. So start with your shoulder and you go up, back, down and round. So there's a bit of a waist turn as well. One, two, three. So don't worry if you hear sort of crunches and creaks, that's fine. As long as it stays on, we're all right. Five, six, seven and... Eight. Beautiful. That was so nice. We're going to go in the other direction with the same arm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lovely. Seven, eight. So we'll do the other shoulder, but before that, check your posture. So it, it's one thing Eva's really big on, Eva Kaskuba. She's really big on the having correct alignment and feeling nice and relaxed and calm. So here we go. One, two, and we're breathing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the other direction. One, two, three, four, lovely, five, Fabulous. Six, seven, and eight. Cool. So shake your hands. Okay. Bird folds its wings, so you come around and forward. That's it. So you're feeling it in your shoulders, but also your chest and your back. and you're breathing. <coughs> Great. And once more. Beautiful. 
Great. So now you can feel the, the shoulder, um, the movement in the shoulder joint. We use that for Peng waves its wind. So Peng is a giant mythological Chinese colourful bird, apparently. So think kind of wise and mythological thoughts when you're doing this. So you turn the palm out, you come forwards and actually I'll show from the diagonal, you come forwards and up as you turn your waist, you extend up slightly and you've got the intent in the ends of the fingers and then you rotate your, oh sorry I'm out of shot, you rotate your shoulder so there's a, there's a shoulder rotation and a slight curve to the arm, even though you're stretching, you're still maintaining your curved shape. That's lovely, really good. And you just want to take the time, because it's go slow Thursday today. I'm not, definitely with the traffic, wasn't it? I mean, it was hectic. It was pretty hectic. And that bloke in front of us wanted to, it's a bit silly. He needs to come to Tai Chi. I almost said, oi, come to my Tai Chi class. You now look I'll like you need now. to relax. It's been... Yeah. It's fine. You just relax, really. And once more, that's beautiful, everybody. That's really nice. Okay. So, before we do the other one, let's check our posture. We just get the alignment get your alignment and then you turn, palm up, great, now the weather guy on the radio said it's going to be possibly a bit drizzly or today but that's okay, I don't know, so we just turn, and it's just very soft, smooth, and slow. Nice. Okay, one more time. That is really good. But we've got that cracked, haven't we? Okay, this is for the new people. <laughs> it's called Dragon Serves Teacups. I'll just show. So it starts it. Just have a look. What we'll do is we'll do. I'll do a couple of slow ones and demonstrate it and then we'll do a couple of trial runs and don't worry if your dragon's doing something different to what mine is so you have the elbows forward and it goes like this it goes one two three four five six one two three four five six and from the back it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So, simples. Right, we're going to do that now ten times. And just, just relax. And uh, the idea, I'm not going to put, because I'll end up spilling it. So I did this online and said, look, you put the tea in and then you don't spill it, but then I spill it. So this is, this is invisible tea. And um, so you, look, you see, dragon serves teacup. So we're having a nice tea party. So next time, you, when we can have tea parties with more than 30 people, we'll be able to, you'll be able to serve the tea. There you go, here's your tea. That would be great, won't it? Right. With that introduction, Actually, let, let's do let's let's do sixteen of these. We can, we can do. It. No, you you don't have to be a. It's fine. That bit, that's a bit like if someone puts a fiver in your hand. You know. <laughs> backhander, backhander. There you just. Well, I have to I have to give each move like something to make it memorable. So when I'm practicing it at home, I can remember what happened. So I go, bribe, and then that's a chop. That's like a, like you're chopping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, right. Now with that introduction, let's go for it. So you want your elbows like that, rather than, not like that, you want it like that. You want it like that. That's it. Okay. Are we ready? Are we standing comfortably? 
No. Then we will begin. Here we go. One. There we go. Don't spill the tea and bring that back. Two. Just, just do a thing. You need to move your body. Three. Now, if you, you can observe, observe. If you're observing, just look very, look, have very good posture. Four. Yeah, that's it. Five. If you're observing, put your, chi your finger on your chin if you're observing. Then it will look like you're supposed to be doing that. Six. I've lost count now. Seven. Eight. So do, that's perfect. Nine. You're all, almost very nearly perfect. Ten. I'm so glad I did my teacher training. Eleven. People don't leave as much now. Twelve. Thirteen. Simples. Fourteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Marvellous. Sixteen. Right. Dragon, Dragon loses the plot. Well done. Um, have another look. Those of you that hadn't quite... That hadn't quite um, right. Observe. It's easy. You go like this. That's the first bit. That's the second bit. So you want to you want to keep relaxed, and then this bit comes round a bit more. Then you bring it above your head like you've got a tray, tray of drinks. So that way, yeah, almost. There you go. You got it. You got it. Right. And then if you grab hold of your elbow and then go. Whoosh, there you go, you've got it, that was perfect. You got one bit, no that's, don't knock the one bit you got, you know. Try, try it with the other hand, try it with the other hand. We'll just, the thing is, some of these people have been doing this for over a year on Zoom, you know, so. Uh, you start here like this. Right, now turn your waist towards the little finger. Now someone drops a fiver in your hand, get your fiver. That's it, yeah, if you're getting a bribe, if you're getting a backhander, it's that way because if it's that way it won't go in you want it that way and then they could drop the fiver in there you go now you turn your waist and this comes around here you go oh you go. no the wind's changed over there if you turn your waist and then bring it over your head bring it over your head that's it and then you go brilliant right well forget okay move on Right, forget that ever happened. There we are. Brilliant. Oh, where, where you are, but watch, watch. See, it's very relaxing. Oh, thank you, thank you. There you go. Yes. Oh dear. to do it with tea. Oh, now I that's the advanced it. level. That's the advanced level. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a bit of chorus line stuff. Here we go. One, two, three. Jazz hands optional. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can have your jazz hands up. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Very nice. Eighteen, 19 and 20. Oh, good, we can stop. Right, hamstring curl. One, two, it's the same, same side. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Just wake the legs up. Nine, ten, eleven. This is from Barry. You can blame him. 14. That's fine, you can do it like that. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, we did 20. Oh, let's get right. One, two, three, four. So you can tap your knees instead if you want. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then we kick the football forwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. Okay, this time, transferred away, cat stance. 
transfer the weight cat starts. Tool through the tool through the head. So yeah, dragon serves teacups. The more you do it, the easier it gets, and then you start relaxing. It's quite good. But yeah, don't 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 feel tempted to serve tea like it just yet. You know. I can do it with this hand anyway. Yeah, that's fine. It's sort of wobbly, wobbly yeah, dragon. Wobbly dragon loses the plot, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. mind, but that's all right. <laughs> and then we. Okay, now this time we go to cat start. You raise your knee, you raise your toes, you gently kick out, you come back, you put the whole foot down. So this is from Eva. It's a balance exercise. So you want to look forward and feel what's happening in your feet. That's it. And it works in a chair too. That's perfect. So nice and... And then once more with feeling. Fabulous. So eventually, and then she's got all these balance exercises and we stand on one leg and then we do it with our eyes shut, but we'll, we'll leave all that. We'll leave all that. So um, hands on the hips and we just circle one, two, lovely, three, four, five, nice, six, seven, and eight. Oh, right, now in the other direction. One, two, three, four, beautiful, five, six, seven, and eight. And bring your feet together, and then you've got your hands on your knees, and we're going to do a circle with the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then raise your hand up, make a fist, turn the fist over and stretch. Come back up, one down, one up, make a fist, stretch. So it's a nice stretching exercise I do with Barry. Up, fist, stretch, turn over. It's really good, isn't it? Oh. One more time, each side. Fabulous. Okay, next. Come a bit closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the hands down. And one, two, three, four. I love this one. Five. This is from Eva, Eva Kaskuba. Eight. One, two, three, well, useful for drying your nails, isn't it? Seven, <laughs> yeah. eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the other way. Like you need to wear nail varnish on Zoom. Five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, over and under. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. There's going to be cake. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Okay. Right. Final thing of this epic. It's like the war and peace of warm-ups, isn't it? Today. Oh my goodness. It really is the war and peace of warm-ups. But we we will do some tai chi. Just, we've got to make sure our joints are all right, otherwise that's not good. So with the spinal wave, now the other day I was watching the cat and it had had a fur ball and it was doing the spinal wave perfect, wonderful. So here we go, it goes one, two, like that, 
three, four, nice, five, because you can get a bit stiff in this heat, six, seven, and eight, beautiful, right, there we go, the other way, one, and we did start a bit late because the, pl the plates class before us, two, three, four, five, the pilots class before us, six, seven, and eight. Oh, right, let's have a water break, water break, and then we'll go through the 18 set. Um, we'll just do five or six feet, should be good. Yeah, we'll just go for it. Don't, don't worry if you've not been for a while, you can't remember any of it, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, it's almost like normal, isn't it? Okay, right, water break over. It's turmeric and ginger tea. See, I know. Mm. It's supposed to be good for, um, it's supposed to be good for things, isn't it? I don't know what. It's good for tasting horrible, actually. And it makes everything yellow. Yeah. from Zoom, very good, very good. Okay, so, just stand in your posture, yeah, because we're, and we're going to get, we're going to go through the 18 set, so, um, yeah, so just notice your, notice your alignment, feel the weight under your feet. I should go. Yeah, I'll go back a bit. Feel the ground underneath your feet. Feel the weight going through the bubbling well of each foot, the entrum point. Sink your hips, sink your shoulders. Take a couple of slow, deep breaths. And begin. So you breathe in and out. Lifting arms. That's lovely. But we're all breathing, very nice. So have the hands nice and, and uh, palms nice and big. more time beautiful okay now this time slightly forward go slightly forward you open come back it's called open the chest and then down one two three four. nice all through the body. Really own your space and feel comfortable in your space. And find that stillness within the movement one more time. <clears throat> and then dance the rainbow. So you come up and you turn and you're looking. This is a good one for the neck because you're turning. Kick the arms up. So shoulder high arms, strengthens the shoulders, one more each side, really nice, very graceful everybody, and then down, take a slightly wider start, parting the clouds, so let's concentrate on this one. So he does it quite big, does the professor, the guy that invented this. He's, 
uh, Professor Lin Haosheng. Good, everyone. Good. And once more. Wonderful. Check your posture. And then turn the waist, raise the arms. Rolling arms. So we'll just join in. We'll, we'll look at details in that when we're a bit less heat affected, you know. So it's just, just flow, relax, feel calm, feel comfortable. One more time, just relax. Don't look worried, just relax. And there we go. And then bring the hands down. And then row in the boat in the middle of the lake. So you come up like this. I'll show it from the side. And you sink your hips back. You keep that length along the spine. So you lengthen along the spine, push down. The head floats up and the sitting bones sink to bring up the head. Yeah, you stick your bum out and then you stick your bum in. Yeah, so the bum, bum goes out and then your, your sitting bones is what they call... They call it the sitting bones because that's more polite. It's more, it's more, you know, decorum and all that, isn't it? You know. Decorum, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> One more time. Beautiful. That was that was very nicely done, everybody. Okay, now bouncing a ball up in front of the shoulders. So I have a slightly wider stance for this because he, he goes down quite low. Does uh, the professor come up and down. up and down? And he's got this amazing music he does with his routine. And someone tells you when to breathe in and breathe out in very high pitched Chinese. It's amazing. It's just fabulous. Right, you've all passed the audition for the display team. Well done, our imaginary display team. You've all passed. That's fabulous. Look at that. They, they look fabulous. Right, you zoomy lot. You're being, you're being given a run for your money. So come on, <laughs> concentrate. Okay, one more time each side. That's beautiful. Okay, now this time, now the way the professor does it, he comes down like this and then it's like he's throwing water over his shoulder or something or throw in a big that's it that's wonderful we should all be in white robes shouldn't we great We're, I can drive my sports car over anyway never mind what went wrong <laughs> in my life oh dear there we go, that's it. You all look fabulous. This is just brilliant. Okay, one more time each side. Oh, hang on, my warning bell is going off. Ah, oh, we've got 10 minutes, 10 minutes to go. So next, bring your hand to your hip, then you do the outside turn and you push out to the core. It's called pushing palms. Then you do this little thing, this little twizzle. He does a little twizzle. So this is the trial run. Do your little twizzle. That's it right now. We'll go for it. So do your sleepy tiger eyes a bit more. So there's various ways of this move actually. Um, Master Wing Chun, who did this wonderful video with his lovely in the field, he does it slightly different, but it's all it's all it's all good. One more time each side. Okay, now this time, like this, like this. 
So he has, when, when the professor does it, he has the palm out like that instead of like that. That's just, but everything's fine. If you want to do it a different way, that's fine. We're going to do wave hands like clouds. So you transfer the weight and turn. That's it. Transfer the weight and turn. No, you're all doing fine, really. Just believe in yourselves more. This is great. There you go. And breathing. One more each side. Lovely. Okay. Then we go into bow and arrow starts. I'll show that from the diagonal. And then we do scoop the sea and look up at the sky. So you come like this. You scoop the sea. Scoop the sea and look up at the sky. There we go. So next time we can go to the beach, you can do this in the sea and see if it works. maintaining the structural integrity along the spine that is lovely everybody okay we'll do we'll do one more after this one more time okay now we try that on the other side so you get your get your posture first get nice and comfy get comfy and get uh, correctly aligned and then you can do the move. Now it's a bit easier. If you take your time to get yourself into the right spot, then we're all right. One more time. Beautiful. Okay. Other side, pushing weight. So you sink back, push forward. So this is the way the professor does it. I just love it. He does these little flourishes. One more time. Nice. Other side. So I think when they do it officially, they only do one side, but I quite like to do both sides. One more. Nice. Pigeon, flying pigeon. So we, like this, like this, one. So you've got your, you're lifting your, your heel and you're lifting your toes. So hopefully, uh, I'm in negotiation with Fabrice, the um, European representative of Professor Linhouse Shane, and I'm hopefully going to be learning sets two and three off of him as well. One more time. Okay. So get your posture, get your sleepy tiger eyes, really good, really good posture. And then make a fist, and then it's... Punch in or extend closed hands with focused gaze. So something like that. It's not really how you'd punch, but it's quite a good one. It's just like, I'll show you that from the diagonal view. So I've got my sleepy tiger eyes. I'm listening behind and above. Nice and calm. One more time each side. Wild goose flies. Now the way the professor does it, it's quite big. It's more like the white crane from the scubas, the way he does it. So he comes all the way up 
and then down. It's really graceful and lovely. And then he does this little flourish at the bottom. I just love it. It's great. It's really nice. It's just a nice little little affectation there, but it just. And, and also he bends his knees a bit more when, when he was doing it on the videos. And then one more time. It's good, isn't it? It's a good version. And you take a slightly wider stance and just hold the ball underneath and we're going to do rotating like a flying wheel, it's called. Rotating like a flying wheel. So come around and you want to you want to move in a controlled but mobile manner nice free so you've got all all your joints all nice and free That's it, good. Okay, now when you get to the bottom corner, change direction. So just nice. And Keep your breathing up. It's a lovely little health set, actually. I really like it. I've been focusing, or I've been working on it for over a year now. And when you get to the bottom corner, come back into cat, uh, into Wu Chi stance. Just check your posture, and then we do bouncing the ball while marching. So it's like this: you go one, One more each side. Okay. Do three of these. So you sit down, and then he does this little thing. One more time. And that's the uh, that's the whole of the 18. So it's a nice, nice little, nice little set. That okay? Just uh, in our the dregs of the class, because I want to make sure you get your money's worth. We didn't actually start till about five past. So um, what we're going to do is demonstration. So we we have our hands on. We're gonna. I'll show you from the side. We go jab, cross. Hook, hook. So with the hook, you turn the. Actually, let's do that. Like that. So you want to you want to turn on your your toes. Turn on the toes. So it's like that. So the knee points that way. The knee points that way. Back knee points that way. Front knee points that way. And then we'll we just practice our hooks. Isn't this good? Brilliant. I love it. It makes me feel really good, you know. Oh. So do I. Yeah. I'm absolutely terrified, those of you on Zoom. They're frightening me. So I that's the hook. I'm you with my kicks. Yeah, Beth's kicks are quite awesome. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, that's the hooks. Right, so what we're going to do, are we going to go jab, cross, hook, Hook, but but relax. We're not. We're being. We're doing it very light. You know, like John Travolta with a paint pot in Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> I love. I wanna. I wanna move with a paint pot like that. It's amazing. It's just he can really move. You know, he can move. So you wanna. You wanna get nice and relaxed. And it's. It's about the weight and coordination rather than if you can sort of lamp people. Yeah, great. 
Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Isn't this good? Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. And five, two, three, four. Beautiful. Right, let's try that with the other foot forward and really scramble our brains. Right. It's really good. This is good for your brain. It's very good for your brain. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. And five, two, three, four. So eventually, we'll be able to do kicks and you know, and we'll be able to move around and feel good. But we won't do that today. We'll do this instead. So just breathe in. <laughs> there we are. Terrifying. It's good to move around after doing a health set. You know, it's quite good. Hmm. I'll have to get a recording of badminton people. I'll record them and then play it when they're not here. Then then we know we have to relax. <laughs> okay, and then, here we go. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. One more time. And then, We'll see if it works this way. I hope everyone's hand gel. We hand gel, didn't we, Beth? We were awesome at hand gelling. And then, uh, really good at it. I've got loads of it in my pocket. Polish the face. So we're all looking younger today. Free facelift. Really good. We get that. Marvellous. And then rub the hands together. And give your lower back a rub. Oh, oh that's amazing. That's the best bit, isn't it? It's the best bit of the class. My favourite bit used to be the tea break, actually, but we can't have it. We can't have it yet. We're waiting. You know, rule five. So here we go. So nice and tall. Own your space. Remember, you've all made the cup for the display team. One more time. And then just check your alignment. Find that quiet, calm place of clarity, peace and resilience. There we are. No problem. Make a fist of the right hand, left hand over the top, bring your feet together and bow. Brilliant. Well done everyone. That was amazing. Woohoo! Well done. Uh, I'll stop the recording.